So uh, at Topa Topa Brewing Company, uh, the beer starts um, in our grist case, and we uh, we jump up top. We uh, we load all the grain in. It goes through a mill that uh, cracks the grain and exposes um, the starches to the enzymes. Um, that and all that happens in the mash. So we mix the the water and the grain together. The enzymes um, break down that starch into a sugary liquid called wort. We then take that entire mash and we transfer it over to the lauder tun. Um, the lauder tun's a cool um, cool vessel. It's got a um, bottom plate that has little holes in it, and essentially that that mash that we made sits on top, and we lauder over the the sugary wort into the boil kettle. And that's where all the magic happens in the boil kettle. So we're, uh, we're sterilizing that sugary liquid, we're concentrating it, and we're also adding our hops. And in this case, for the coffee IPA, we added our beans at the end just to uh, mimic, what, um, uh, mimic the temperature of what you would do with a high quality roast. Um, at 205 degrees is where you want your coffee. And um, during the whirlpool stages of the brewing process is that uh, same temperature. So we're extracting um, all those berry notes I talked about earlier um, into the beer, and then um, uh, that goes for about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we're gonna cool it down and essentially pump it over to one of our fermenters. And we're gonna add the yeast, and then it's kind of out of our hands. Uh, you know, there's an old saying that brewers uh, don't make beer, they make wort, and that's really true. The, the yeast are what eat, are eating the sugars and producing uh, the alcohol and CO2. Yeah, so Ventura is kind of a, a unique place where there's the, the water and the mountains and pretty much everything within 30 minutes of here. Um, so we get a lot of surfers who come in after surfing who just want like a, a beer and maybe grab some food from the food truck or a bike rider coming um, down the path, down the bike path. Um, yeah, or, or like mountain bikers who come up from Los Padres somewhere up in Ojai. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a great active community and it's just a nice gathering place for those people to come. Good. The collective is uh, it's for people who come frequently like myself and uh, you get a few things, you know, a little swag, you get a hat, you get a growler, you get a shirt, um, but the, the good part of it is is you get um, special parties, you know, when they have, you know, when they release a new beer, you know, they let us have it first and um, you get a bigger pour. You get a 20 ounce instead of a 16, you know, it's a, it's a great deal. We love it. Through our tasting rooms, we wanted to create a, an area by which the community can gather, uh, whether that be just for a beer after work or after they grab a surf, uh, or if it's a more organized, um, you know, fundraising effort for local community charities or what have you. And we've tried to create that with the space. Great. Being from San Diego, one of the things we wanted to bring to the region is not just a really good IPA, but part of the collaborative spirit of the San Diego craft beer industry. People love to collaborate and help each other and kind of work to make the craft segment succeed more. Uh, a real rising tide raises all boats attitude. And we're really excited to try and foster that attitude here in Ventura. There's a couple of new breweries coming up that we're doing our best to help out with and uh, just become friends and convert lots of Bud Light drinkers.